The focus of this exhibit is to really look back at the first 40 years of CTRAN. So what we ended up doing was working with CTRAN to start pulling in information, uh, photos. Uh, we actually ended up started collecting some of the first CTRAN stuff into our collection. Uh, so we had a private donor and then also CTRAN itself gave some items into the museum collection. Whenever we get to do an exhibit, and especially when we get to partner with a stakeholder organization like CTRAN and really evaluate, you, you never know exactly what that story is going to tell. And the thing that I kept feeling, feeling like was a really big thing coming out was just how successful our local public transportation system has been and how innovative it's been. Whether it's you know environmentally friendly buses or it's like these incredible wraps or if it's services for people across our community that are fit for those people in our community. And so we talk about 1981 and we think of that as the start of you know our system but we go all the way back to the 1890s. The seed that then CTRAN grew from was this early mass transportation and this private transportation system uh, that wasn't sustainable but then with CTRAN's model it's now blossoming. What I learned in doing the work from 81 forward for that first 40 years is that at every step the public transportation system here has worked earnestly to respond to what the community needs. People can come in any day that the Vancouver Community Library is open. They can come up to the fifth floor and they can see this wonderful exhibit in the Vancouver Room. Uh, it's an incredible experience to be able to see that first 40 years and what it really took to make it happen and what CTRAN has done, uh, you know, in the first four decades. Mm -hmm.